Hi, my name is Joe and my wife and I, we just had our first baby in another country. We are not from here. We're not from Georgia, the country of Georgia, not the state of Georgia in America. We're in Tbilisi, Georgia. And I always wondered how much it was going to cost to have a baby in another country. I kind of wanted to have a baby in another country because I, I travel a lot. And this is where we had our son, the Chachava Maternity Clinic in Tbilisi, Georgia. It's a beautiful hospital. It's been here a long time, since 1875. Uh, after you have your baby, this is where you're going to stay. This is where the apartments are and where you'll live after you have your baby. Let me break the number down, the $4,382, into three sections. The total cost of having one baby was $4,382 in three parts. The hospital cost, the pharmacy cost, and the accessories cost. The cost of the hospital itself for us was $3,022. That's including two numbers. One number you and I would both pay, and then one number is optional, depending on how comfortable you want to be at the hospital. First number of that $3,022 is $1,591 for consultations, checkups, ultra, all the ultrasounds, all the urine tests, and all the blood tests. We're, we're all going to pay that. And then the second number could be broken down into six different levels or what they would call the birth package. And that's gonna, for everyone, include three days at the hospital, meals included, and the delivery. You can go as cheap as $400 for the birth package. They all, all include the meals and the three days and the delivery. Or you can go as expensive as $1,312. The levels are 400, 466, 674, 710, 1042 and $1,312 for the for the hospital expenses. So I paid $3,022, but it could have been as cheap as $2,110 for the hospital expense had we chosen to save money. Why did my wife and I choose the more expensive package? It was because we're both like digital nomads. We both don't have regular jobs. That's also why we travel a lot. I'm a property investor, so as long as I have internet and a phone, I'm okay. And she works online as well, so I thought, well, we're in another country anyway, so I might as well just sleep at the hospital. I can help her with carrying things, asking questions, getting things, burping the baby and stuff like that. So I slept at the hospital. If you get one of the lower packages, here are some of the names. They call it, like ours was called the Deluxe Apartment. They have the Super Lux, the Lux A, the Lux B going down, the Double Room A, and then the Double Room B, which is the cheapest. Like if you got the, the cheapest package, what you're gonna be doing is, me, the man, I'm not gonna be able to sleep there, like I did. Uh, your wife is gonna be there with maybe one or two or three other mothers that have their babies there as well. So it might be a little bit more noisy and you won't be able to help your wife in the middle of the night to get something or ask a question, something like that. The pharmacy cost, the $921, is things like lotions, creams, prenatal vitamins, iron supplements, vitamin B drops, lotions, creams. That's about, it, about that, about, about it. Anything you would purchase in a pharmacy, they have everything you need here in, in Tbilisi, at, at the pharmacy for babies and for the mother. They don't have any problems with that. The accessories, the $439 that we paid, that's for things like baby carrier. I did take a trip back to the United States, so I bought some stuff there and I bought some stuff here. For the most part, everything you're gonna need for your baby, you can buy here. They love babies, they have everything you need for babies. Strollers, carriers, all that stuff. My baby carrier, which is a car seat, I paid $62 for it here my travel crib so we travel a lot and we can't get one of those big cribs so we got this thing by we got lucky and we found one it's basically a bag that opens up to be a small crib for the baby and that's the one thing that might be hard for you if you travel a lot is we couldn't buy one of those big wooden cribs it just wouldn't work for us i paid 62 dollars for this i paid 38 dollars for this 
bag that opens up to be a small crib. A baby bath, it's an inflatable one. I got that in America online on Amazon for $16. You inflate it, that's also good for traveling. The baby can take a bath in there when he's a little bit older, when he's old enough to you know, take a bath. And then uh, also in America, I went to Bye Bye Baby and I bought the Infantino Go Forward thing for $40. That's the thing for carrying the baby on your stomach or carrying them on your back. I'm in the process of doing the consular report uh, birth abroad and I will let you know how much money that cost and how much time that took because my son is, because I'm an American and he's my son, he automatically gains American citizenship being born in another country. But I had to go to the US Embassy and I'm, I've started that process. I'm waiting for his first passport to come back and I'm waiting for his CR, consular report CRBA certificate to come back from the United States that says he's an American born in another country to an American father. I hope that was helpful. The uh, cost for things like epidur epidural, epidermal, epidural for the mother having the pain relief during the pregnancy was only like a hundred and and eight dollars. So that's not very expensive here. A lot of things were cheaper here. I just, um, I was always kind of intending to have my children around the world. You know, if, if they were born in America, that's fine, but I just want my son to be part of the world and I thought it would be fun to have my child in a, another country. It was cheaper. This is not using um, insurance. I don't have health insurance. I just paid cash. And I, we were even thinking maybe have one child in like Thailand, one child here in Georgia, and then one child in like South America or something like that. It's just a fun thing. It makes the story of life more interesting. And I hope my children, all of them grow up and and have fun in the world and feel like they're a, a world citizen. And it'll be fun for all of the kids to have their own little story about where they came from. And it'll just make life more fun. So I hope that was helpful and I will talk to you later. Goodbye. Also, don't forget to calculate your living expenses, the cost of rent to live in another country. The chances are that you're not going to just show up and have a baby real quick and then leave a country. You can't leave right away because you're waiting for their first passport and you're also waiting for their report of birth abroad to come back from the United States. Here in Tbilisi, Georgia, a single bedroom apartment you could get it as cheap as $500 a month or as expensive as $1,000 a month. I mean, you could get it, the sky's the limit, right? But we paid, we are paying $1,000 a month. Uh, a big reason why we didn't try to haggle the cost down and do the traditional, you know, sign a contract and hand cash over is, it was for financial planning reasons. Tax season was coming up and I wanted to have as much cash in my account as possible. So I did the, the Airbnb thing and we just rented a single bedroom apartment for a thousand dollars a month on Airbnb that lets me use a credit card and keep my cash for taxes or any unexpected costs that might that might pop up I like having cash